Hello! In this video I would like to show how to use ETS for the scanner. This app enables you to capture color for the models with your iPad and accept those purchase sensor in just few minutes. ETS for the scanner is able to scan objects and people and in this tutorial I will show you how to scan things around you. First of all, you will need a table with free space around it. Place an object that you want to scan on the table and move away any other objects. Then place some pictures near the objects, for example newspapers or flyers. I have a couple of journals in my case. Actually, the more pictures you place, the more stable results you will get during scanning. Alright, we are good to go to the scanning now. I start the ETS 3D application, press the new scan button and select to scan an object. You will see that the table is highlighted by green color. I point the camera so that the object is in the screen center. Wait a little bit to let the camera focus and press the start button. You can see that a part of the object is now covered with white points. Our task now is to make more shots and cover the whole object with white points. To do this, just move the iPad to any position, hold still for a few seconds and a new shot will be made automatically. As with regular photos, it is important to hold still during the first shot and new shots, otherwise images may be blurry. Usually, 10 shots is enough, but for more complex objects, you may want to take 15 or 20 photos to capture all the details. There is a special indicator at the bottom left corner to help you track your progress. Notice that I also making shots from different angles. For example, I want to make sure that the insert part of the shoe is captured well, so I make a few shots directly from the top. I press the done button and then send to render for processing by cloud computing. In a minute, I got my model. You can see that the 3D model is really good. All details are captured well and actually it looks like the real shoe. Now I can send the model by email, for example, to 3D print it later, or I can share the model on Sketchfab so my friends could view it in a browser. Thank you for watching this tutorial and enjoy scanning the world yourself.